Hello everyone! I hope you're all well. My name is Christine and today you are watching Call Me Christine. This video is my portfolio update episode 7 and so what we're going to discuss are my portfolio update, what is a good rate of return, why is it important to know a good rate of return, and one last thing is there's this one growth stock I bought last week that yielded 9% return. So, if you're interested in any of these things, please keep on watching. This portfolio update has been taken as of 7th of June 2020. So we have AJ Value Invest 21,500, Vanguard UK 950, Hargreaves Lansdowne 37,300, Free Trade is 8,300, which gives us a grand total of 68,050. Total cost is 58,500 and the net gain is 9,550, giving us a percentage of net gain of positive 16%. So let's begin with AJ Value Invest. Uh, here's my account summary. ISA, 4,500. Lifetime ISA, 4,100. Dealing account, 12,800. Giving us a total value of 21,500. So as you can see, for my ISA, I still have Skywork Solution. Um, stock value right now is 4,500. And the percentage of change is 13.78%. So for my LISA, I have NVIDIA, uh, which is 1,970, and Qualcomm, um, yielding at 2,170, which gives us a grand total of 4,137. As you can see, the percentage of change here is 6.82%. My last bit is the dealing account from AJ Bell you invest. So AMD 5200, Qualcomm 2400, Roku 1600, and the Walt Disney 3500, giving us a grand total of 12,800. For my Vanguard UK investment, I have a general account value of 954.77. I do have a loss of 4.52%. Um, I initially invested 1,000 pounds here, so you can see it's still lower than my initial investment. Now let's discuss my Hargreaves Lansdowne account. Stocks and shares, ISA, stock value is 21,900 and my LISA is valued at 15,300. If we're going to discuss the details of my stocks and shares, ISA, we have Apple at 10,400, Facebook at 1,090, and Nvidia worth 10,400. Grand total is 21,900 and the percentage of gain is 31%. Moving on to my LISA account, I have AMD valued at 4,700, Alphabet 6,800, and Microsoft 3,800, giving me a grand total of 15,300 and the percentage of gain is 23.9%. Last but not the least, we have my free trade account. So the investment ISA is valued at 5,900 and my basic account is valued at 2,300. Now let us discuss what is a good rate of return. So guys, whenever you're making any investment decisions, it's best that you know or you have a benchmark on what is a good rate of return. So what I'm going to show you are snippets uh, coming from different websites um, that shows us hypothetically what is the range of number. Obviously, there's no magic number, but what is the range that we can consider a good rate of return? First off, let's discuss what Dave Ramsey has to say. It says here, the S&P 500 gauges the performance of the stocks of the 500 largest, most stable companies in the New York Stock Exchange. It is often considered the most accurate measure of the stock market as a whole. The current average annual return from 1923, the year of the S&P's inception, through 2016 is 12.25%. 
Moving on with a website called Wealth Simple, it says here, The S&P index began in 1926 and was known as the Composite Index. The index was originally composed of 90 stocks. In 1957, the index adopted its current format of including 500 stocks. And this is the best part. Average annual returns for the index from 1957 through the end of 2018 were about 7.96%. The average annual return from its inception in 1926 through the end of 2018 was about 10%. Another clip coming from Investopedia says pretty much the same thing about S&P, um, but they said that until 2018, the average annual return for the S&P 500 is roughly 8%. By the way, guys, I'm going to link all the sources that I've used down below, so feel free to check them out yourself as well. The last snippet that I have for you guys is coming from Nerd Wallet, and they say here, the stock market has historically returned an average of 10% annually before inflation. However, stock market returns vary greatly from year to year and rarely fall into that average. All of the sources that we've read point us to the historical S&P returns. So to give you a brief background on what is really that historical rate of return, I have here um, the annual rate of return per year. So obviously we don't have year 2020 because you know it's only, only June right now, but it would be really interesting to know what is going to happen you know, at the end of the year. Anyway, so if I scroll down, you can see that 2019, it's clearly a bull run, 31%. Um, 2018, minus 4%. Um, 2008, we know that there's been a financial crisis, so it's negative 37%. And the tech bubble um, burst, year 2000. 2001 and 2002 so you can see uh, the negative figures here but what's interesting really is for the most part you can see positive figures here and what they did meaning Investopedia, Dave Ramsey and all of our other sources they calculated the average starting from the S&P 500 inception which is 1923 and the figure that they come up with um, varies obviously but it ranged from 8% to 12%. So why is it important for us to know a good rate of return? Number one, and I think this is the most important, protections from scammers. You know there are people who um, suddenly write an email to you or contact you even in person and they present this investment opportunity that you can double your money in a month. I mean, how is that possible? What is the business model that will allow you to double your money in a month? And um, by the way, guys, I filmed a YouTube video that's called Five Worst Financial Mistakes That I Made Plus the Lessons That I've Learned. I'm going to put up a card up here and I'm going to link it down below as well. Um, yeah, one of those financial mistakes is I've invested in this seemingly legitimate business opportunity and that's a scary thing about it you would never know that that's a scam but it turned out it's a scam it's a shame because this has happened in the uk and you would think that you know they have this sophisticated guidance in place about what's moral and what's ethical but one of the tough lessons that i've learned it is all around the globe so that's number one protection from scams Number two, knowing what is a good rate of return will allow us to set a realistic goals. Like what I've mentioned earlier, doubling your money in four weeks is not possible at all. Whatever business model is that, that is probably a pyramid scheme or some dodgy business, but it's not possible. Now, knowing that a good rate of return is somewhere around 8 12 to 15 percent it allows you to number one be content if your portfolio is somewhere around that figure and number two set a realistic goal that you know 
in a number of years this is what my investment return is and it will inspire you to save invest know more about stock market and other financial investments as well number three reason on why is it important for us to have an idea about what is a good annual rate of return is it will inspire us to get invested i don't know about you guys but for me this whole financial investment is a journey and this is one of the reasons why I created this YouTube channel is to document uh, my journey and you know it will inspire you to know more about stock market or any other investment really whether it's a real estate investment or you know having your own business it will inspire you even to save invest or if you're not ready yet to set up your emergency fund but overall it's quite fulfilling to see where your money is going number four we can now tailor what is best for us why well because we have a benchmark we know that if we hit 8 12 or 15 percent it depends really on because all of those numbers are valid right but if you put in your money in a specific stock and in a year or much better in a given month it, it yields to those numbers which is 8 12 and 15 percent then that means you're pretty much doing okay or doing well if you beat that then much better now why did i say we can tailor what's best for us when we know the percentage or a good percentage of a rate of return um because stock market investing or stock picking like what i do for the most part is not for everyone so if you feel that oh i'm not really interested in you know reading or going to seeking alpha or checking new companies that is fine that's okay what you can do is you invest yourself into an index fund like you know vanguard uk again i filmed a video on how i opened my account with vanguard uk and my review um to the whole process as well um but then yeah it's not to say that you need to invest in stock market alone so if in your index fund you're yielding eight percent return i think that's good the last point that i have for you today is i have this one growth stock that i bought last week and it yielded nine percent return so if you haven't seen my video which is my portfolio update episode six i've listed there three growth stocks that i'm eyeing on so i'm going to put up a card and link the video down below and so what is that stock so that growth stock that I'm talking about is called the Trade Desk. So I've explained this to you in a bit more detail on my previous video. But in a nutshell, the Trade Desk is more like Shopify. So I want to share with you um, the snapshot from Seeking Alpha. So this is obviously the Trade Desk. And uh, there are a couple of things that I consider before I buy a stock. If you're interested, I filmed a YouTube video explaining my thought process and the things that I consider before I buy a stock. Um, I'm going to put up a card as well and link them down below. But however, if we go back here, the Wall Street analyst rating is bullish, so that's good. However, the price target, you can see that the price target is 289.5, but the current price right now is 358.32. So does that mean you cannot buy it? Well, it's not an absolute rule, but anything above the target price that is deemed expensive, but again, if you do your research and if you think that you know this company will yield or the stock value will be up in the near future then by all means go for it so my friends those are everything that i have for you today uh, if you like this video click on the thumbs up and if you haven't already click on the subscribe button thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye